So this is a good one. Uh, I just stumbled upon this video and I didn't watch it because I like to watch these videos first with y'all. Unless if I say otherwise, every time I watch a video with y'all, it's the first time I've seen it. All right, so this is called Dating Women Made Me Understand Men from Anna Akana. And this is from 2019, before the big C. And I ain't talking about Crip Mac, okay? <laughs> All right. So as you may remember, I came out as bisexual last year. And since then, I have been dating women. And what I found very fascinating is that the more I date women, the more I find myself understanding heterosexual men. Let me explain. Exhibit A. I was on a first date with a girl who asked me out, by the way. This is relevant. She has nice set design. I like, like, in this uh, wall right here. Like, it looked cool. She got a nice camera, too, with that depth of field. I'm going to get a new lens soon so I get that depth of field effect like I had before. This is a new camera, by the way. I never told you a story how the camera got stolen in Atlanta. But anyways, continue. I just had to give her some props. Because when the check came, she never once made a move to pay. Not even like the fake, let me reach for my purse move. And though I don't mind paying on a date, part of me felt like, you know, the offer <laughs> would have been nice. I was also... <laughs> Welcome to the club, bitch! <laughs> I'm just playing. You're not a bitch. I'm just... When I say bitch, I don't, I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm saying it because it's funny. <laughs> Let's keep going. Hold on. I'm taken aback that she didn't even say thank you. And Ooh. I never heard... Oh, unappreciation. Oh, no appreciation. Unappreciative. To be fair, all the dates that I've been on... I haven't really been on no dates with no, like, rude, crazy females like that. Um, like, I've been lucky. Like, a lot, of the, a lot of dates I've been on with girls, they were either, like, willing to pay or, like, they didn't, they didn't expect me to pay. Like, they didn't, like, um, are you not going to pay for that? Like, they, I, because really, I can kind of tell if somebody's like that or not when I first talk to them. So, if I can tell you kind of, like, you stink, you nasty, yeah, I ain't going, we ain't even, <laughs> I ain't take you nowhere. Ah, nowhere. But you know, it's not, not everybody's like that. You can't always tell who's who and what they're gonna do. So, but that's a real thing, though. It's entitlement. You're the man. You're gonna pay. From her again. It really made me feel like she just asked me out so she could have a free dinner. And the moment I thought that, why meal ticket? I was like, oh my god. I sound like all of my guy friends right now. And my argument against why guys should pay for dates has always been like. Look, girls take hours to get ready. Our investment is looking really nice for you. Makeup, clothes, that costs money too. But we were both Really nice for you, but I thought you don't do it for men. We don't do it for you. I know it's subjective, but still. You know what I'm saying? You can't use that argument, but a lot of girls say that. Girls in this situation, we both took hours to get ready, so I definitely felt slighted. Exhibit B. On another date, I went back to a girl's house and I ended up making friends. That's another thing too. Talking about your makeup and all that stuff. If the dude think you look good, you just look good. He ain't asking you to do all that. All you gotta do is look nice, you know, just cool and then come. Like you, if you gotta, if you gotta use makeup to look good, bro. Okay, that's on you. But you're choosing to do that. Okay, the man's not asking you to do all that. So don't try to put that on him. I did all this to look good for you. Can I ain't ask you to do that. If I'm out with you, that means I just like how you look regardless. That's me. I like a girl to look good with all that makeup on her face. <laughs> like, it's naturally pretty. Like, it's nice. Like, ooh, like, I can wake up. I can wake up the next morning and I won't be scared. Like, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Her cat. That's not a pun. I'm talking about her literal, actual animal. My bad. She I didn't hear what she said. Wow. I'm talking too much. My cat never likes anyone. I better go out and buy a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I felt like I got some serious perspective. I have been guilty of making these kinds of jokes on dates with men. I never really thought anything of it. I was just being silly. But then when I was on the receiving end of it, I suddenly understood the panic. And finally, exhibit C. One girl invited me back into her house, and her specific words were, Do you want to come in and make out? Obviously, I'm like, yeah, you're really pretty. I want to press my face to yours. 
But then when we got there, we both just sat on the couch and she talked till like 3 a.m. And I was like, yo girl, I gotta wake up at like 6 a.m. I was told there would be kisses here. There are no kisses. And like, look, I, I don't wanna sound like an asshole. Like, I don't mind talking. I love talking. But she could have said, uh, do you wanna come in and just talk? And I would have had totally different expectations for the evening. You know, finally I started falling asleep and I was like, hey, I gotta go. And I gave her one kiss and, and left. And I felt sad that the amount of kisses promised did not equal the amount of kisses delivered. And once again, I felt like a dude who was upset that I did not receive the expected physical kisses I was promised. And I wanted to talk about this because I felt like this has really been expanding my perspective when it comes to dating. I finally understand a lot of- That ain't get no play. I did all that, came out here, did all this, did all that, drove, paid, and I can't get none? That's the thing that people don't understand. The interactions between men and women is give and take, take and give. Mutual giving, mutual taking, okay? We just give and take different things. That's what it is. But a lot of people are not up to game. They don't understand how this shit work. This is a very interesting video, and I like this. I like this girl for that. I like your content. My male friends have about dating that I admit I would usually dismiss. But now I really get it when they say, Dating is just so expensive, man. Sometimes I feel like a girl doesn't even like me for me. She just wants, like, a boyfriend. I wish it were more socially expected to go Dutch on the first few dates, but you're like a jerk if you even suggest it. And any experience that expands your compassion and understanding is one that I think is worthy of sharing. So what about you? Have you had any experiences that have shifted your viewpoint dramatically? Let me know. I'm Anna Akana, and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace has beautiful, award-winning templates and an all-in-one platform, so there's no need to install patches or upgrades ever. They also have 24-hour customer service and offer a simple and unique setup experience if you need a domain. With Squarespace, all right, you can create all right, Squarespace. Hey, I like that she put the ad at the end. I could turn off the video, and I'm not missing nothing. But uh, get your money, girl. Anna Akana. Anna Akanda. Sound like Anna Kanda. That's a cool little name. Um, hey, 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 they ain't that six million views. Come on, look at the comments real quick. Hold on. One, oh, she has something in there. One quick note on this the line I said, uh, the amount of kisses promised didn't equal the amount of kisses delivered can be interpreted, interpreted as problematic. And I want to clarify that anyone has the right to revoke consent at any time. I just thought it was a funny thing to say and was bummed that we didn't make out because she was very pretty and intelligent. However, I am not entitled to anyone's body and they are free to not make out with my face if they don't want to anymore. In this specific situation, I think we are both merely afraid to make the first move but want to clarify for those who may take it in the way it was isn't intended to be. Just a funny little thing I thought of. Man, I wonder if people got mad about that because let me break that down. There ain't nothing wrong with that. The amount of kisses promised didn't equal the amount that was delivered. You said one thing and then you're doing something else. Yes, everybody knows that consent can be revoked, okay? You can change your mind. Okay, that's cool. We understand that. The only people that don't understand it are crazy people who don't understand consent. We're not talking, I don't I don't think that's the majority of people. Because if that's the majority of people, we'd be in a whole this would be a whole different society. Still, her statement still stands. And that's what niggas go through all the time. The amount that was promised was not what was delivered. Okay? So you have every right to up and leave. Yeah, no one has a right over your body. Duh. You know what I'm saying? You can't make someone do something. But if you go and do if you say you're gonna do something and I'm not and you're not doing it, okay, I have a right to feel annoyed. At, at the least. I have I can be annoyed at the least. You know what I'm saying? Like dang. Like you wasting my time now. Okay, bye. That's cool. I don't have a right to your body. But you also don't have a right to waste my time. What the fuck? <laughs> Simple. But, you know, people... Cause she, I, I, I don't think I'm wrong to assume that she has a large female audience. Oh, she has 2.82 2 million subscribers. That's cool. Subscribe? I mean, I don't know. I only see one video. I don't know what she's talking about. But, you know, uh, I'm sure she got a lot of female followers, subscribers. So, it's probably some female followers that's like, oh, consent. Yes, we know, bro. We know. What are you talking about? You're missing the point. Let's see. Dating for women is like shopping. Dating for men is like a job interview. Yeah. 
Doesn't offer to pay. Doesn't say thank you. Never heard it from her again. This is too perfect. I am a straight woman, and I think women can be flat out emotionally cruel to men, far more than they are comfortably admitting. When I watch my dad's partner, not my mother, mock everything he does, the fact that he's bald, the fact that he has a belly now, this is wrong, that is wrong, it's scratching the surface of emotional abuse at times, and you know it would never ever be tolerated the other way around. Nope. I think men have to swallow a lot of things down. Yes. Matter of fact, I have a public envy plan. Um, it's going to be who sacrifices more in relationships, and that's uh, something that I want to you know, cover and see what people say. Son, don't ever try to understand women. Women understand women, and they hate each other. <laughs> That's funny. A woman. I've dated 20 men in the last 10 years. Doctors, lawyers, dentists, even a movie star. They were all trash. Psychologists. Let's unpack that sentence. 20 men. All trash. Trash. After two or three failed attempts, at what point did you start to question yourself? Well, I am perfect, so I expect my man to be perfect, too. Oh, shit. But, hey. Hope you had a good one. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so y'all get notification when y'all see my videos. So I know YouTube is dumb and YouTube does not put it, push it out whenever I post every time. Especially the stuff I be talking about. They don't like what I be talking about. They don't like what y'all want to hear. So y'all got to help me, help you, help me, help you. Okay? Thank you. <laughs>